All right, this is my last try. If this doesn't... Thank you. Finally, you pop up. That was what the problem was. That wouldn't pop up. I don't know why. Oh, I hope this is fixed. I really do. All right, let's try this again. I'm actually going to show you guys that war battle because it was actually a really good one. Um, as I pull up the stream... So I took Rascals over Knight. Hey, what's going on? Um, then I took the Wizard because I didn't want him using that against my Rascals, which was great because then I could take the Minion Horde. And finally, I got the answer for the Three Musketeers, so I knew right away that I, I already had a pretty good start. But it turned out to be a pretty good match, so I wanted to show it to you guys. Um... I think it's fixed now. I restarted my phone. I did pretty much everything I could. Um, actually, you know what? While this is playing, I'm going to go shut off the computer in the other room that I was using um, for something else. Just in case it's hogging a little bandwidth. So I will be right back. So where are we? Okay. Yeah, this is where it uh, it got a little tricky for me, I think, right around here. He had that double prince set up, and that was just crazy good. And I had nothing to stop that. I could have thrown the hog, but I figured that would have been a waste. So I took the damage. I had no answer for these goblins either. And I was just relentless with that goblin barrel throughout the whole game. That's set up. And as you guys can tell, pretty much have this in the bag at this point. Get that Valk down just for defense. Ice Spirit just to keep it alive, make sure that it takes it out. And that's game. So let's get into some more live matches here. Alright, uh, let's do a classic deck. And just hope I don't get something too bad. Bone Pit. Ugh, alright. Just go minor for now. Really? Come on, Sparky. Ah, so close. So close to getting a shot off.
Let's go Miner now. We'll zap. I guess this deck isn't too bad. As long as I have that Goblin Giant down, he can't really play the Expo. I apologize for the banging. There's nothing I can do if you guys hear that. I know, it's frustrating. Hey, what's going on? I think I fixed the issue finally. Uh, I threw the, that right into the log, but that's fine. Easy win. Can you guys hear that? Wow, I have nothing for that Skarmy. I mean, Mega Knight would have been nice, but you can't take the Mega Knight over the P.E.K.K.A., can you? Let's go Magic Archer here. Can drop that bandit in front of it. Wow, that was efficient. I don't think I've ever seen a Magic Archer take out a minion horde in two shots. I'm sure you play Brawl Stars a lot more than I do. I like it, it's just, it's not my main game. Let's poison that. It's fine. No thanks, I got my own clan. Why do people always do that? Like, jump into a random stream and just ask people to join their clan. Like, 
That's not how you're going to find good people to join. Go on Discord servers or Facebook or something like that, you know? I know you're in my clan. I was referring to that guy. Every stream I get people that just pop in. Yeah, stuff like that. Reddit, Facebook. There's a Discord server specifically for it. Keeping that magic archer alive. Let's get another one down. Ah, uh, magic archer is back. I love it. It's fine. Gonna be able to just win with poison here, I think. That was a bad ice whiz. Bad ice whiz. No. Dang it, I screwed up with that ice whiz. I didn't mean to play it there. I meant to hold it there until he jumped and then play it. That way he. he uh. Anyways. I have no idea what they're saying, so. Alright. So now I'm going to get used to my normal deck just by doing a quick ladder match. Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing what my, uh, my numbers with this deck are. I've been keeping track of that lately. Go Princess over there, and I'll go Valk here. It's fine. Activated the King Tower. I'm okay with that. Waste of a Prince, but it's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go. Oh, crap. Okay, I already said no, so now I'm removing. Enough spamming my chat. Princess here. Go bandit. Go bats. Okay, he's got that scar me. I don't know, but if he spams one more time, he's being kicked permanently, so... Stop texting me. Go away. I don't know what that guy was doing with that, but okay. I'll take it. We'll zap. 
Get another Valk down. He seems to have no answer for that. Go Princess here. We'll go Bats here. Can't even take one tower, and you got E Barbs maxed. Alright, I think I'm just gonna jump into the global tournament now. I think I'm all set. Warming up. So let's get into it. Get this unlocking. Hey, look at that. Back to Challenger 2. Uh, I placed my prince. What is going on here? That is such BS. I placed a prince there. I just got so screwed. I can't believe that. That is so stupid. So stupid. Oh. So I'm down a loss just because the stupid game doesn't register as stupid. Mm. I don't know what to do here. Do I just keep attacking this lane? I guess so. Going Prince in this lane. Good game. I should have won that first one. I'm I'm so so mad about that. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm mad. I'm actually going to poison so I don't have to deal with their princess. That Tesla is going to be so annoying. All right, you're gone, band. I warned you. Goodbye. I'll take care. Oh, wow. Thank, thanks. Thanks. Now I got a loss because of it. Okay. 
I hate people. I really hate people. You know what? Because of you being annoying, I'm not just going to remove, I'm going to report. For spam. Goodbye. Ah, oh, this tournament just got so screwed up. See if I can sneak this bandit through. Nope. God, this is such an annoying deck. There we go. It's funny, both my losses are kind of because of outside forces. I mean, I guess I can blame myself for, for just not worrying about it after the match, removing that guy, but that first one, that was just stupid. Do I get that charge off? Nice. Poison damage. Drop the princess. Drop the Valk. Go prince. Bandit opposite lane. Go poison again. Inferno, you served me decently. It's fine. This time we'll go Valk and then Inferno. Go Prince. Throw some bats. Bandit. <clears throat> Get another Valk down. This guy's probably getting really frustrated at this point, which is what I want. Prince. Ooh. Alright, I'm going to reset here. Get this prince. Oh, crap. Well played. I didn't expect him to use the log there.
I'm going to ignore that wizard. At this point, I can just get that draw, unless Bandit can somehow get through and... Yeah. I do not know what that means, Spirit. Prince. Don't really care if that connects to my tower. Of course, it's the same deck. Really? Oh, it's got Ice Wiz in it, though. Oh, that's game. Wow. Alright, so what are we at now? Four and two, something like that? Three and two? Three and two. Alright, I need... Oh, that was a common? What do I want for commons? Let's take minion horde and give zap. Hog won't take my tower, whereas my setup can. It won't, but... And that's game. Hey Mario, what's up? Now I'm on a roll. <laughs> I got two cards that are already maxed. Oh man. And unfortunately, I need Prince. So I'm gonna go for Prince. Are you kidding me? Not one prince. Okay, so a worthless chest. Interesting. Hey, Fanny. Just go bats here. Do that. Let's go Inferno and Princess here. I'll zap that. Throw Bandit. Poison.
Mmm. Now let's still get that poison off on the tower, because that's going to be huge. We'll go Inferno. We'll go Zap this time. Nice. Get that charge from the prince. Princess here will protect. I won. Wow, I can't believe he got that zap. Well played. That was well played. All I needed was to get my zap off and I won. I can't believe he actually got that zap down like that. That was nice. I'll give him credit for that. My day has been very annoying. How about you, Mario? Okay. Let's go Valk in the back. Poison right there. We'll get the Valk down in front of this princess, throw the prince as well. I'll zap all that, throw a princess here. Bandit there, Valk here, it's fine. Now I'll go Prince, Bats, get the zap ready, there's no zap needed. Go Poison instead. Get that Witch out of the way. Valk, Prince. Princess back here. Didn't get the charge. It's fine. Good Valken Prince again. Bandit on this side. Princess to clean up a bit. Dang. And another draw. Alright. If it's sudden death, how can you draw? I don't understand that, but whatever.
Hmm. I can actually just take that damage right there. I'm gonna go Valk. Inferno here. Let's zap. Perfect. Now he's got to answer that Inferno. And I am absolutely happy with that choice. Let's go Bandit over here as well. It's Poison. Might be able to do this with just Poison damage alone. We'll see. Let's go Prince. get another princess in and that's gonna be game all right I knew he was going to play something else. That's game. Wow. Just 38 seconds, that's all it took. So we're at six wins now. What do you need for max rewards? 12? I think if I get up to this super magical chest, I am going to buy. Um, I only need 10 more gems, too, so I might not even have to pay real money, which will be nice. There's two more gems right there. If only I hadn't done that classic challenge earlier. <sighs> oh well. Oh, wait, I went in and did a regular game? Crap. At least this guy's not playing, so it'll be quick. My first quitter in a while. God, my trophies are so low right now. Alright, let's go back into this. Why are you guys so quiet in the chat today? Eh. Poison that. Go Princess Poison.
Valk Prince. Ah, oh, well, welcome. Usually the chat's going off like crazy, but then again, my uh, my mod who's usually really chatty isn't here either, so I'm sure that's helping a little bit. Nothing I can do. Good game. I'm going to bandit opposite lane. Just see if I can get lucky. Probably not. I gotta play this smart. Let's do this back here. Let's do this here. Let's zap. That's... And good game. Ah. Wow. I hate that this is level 11 or higher because my card levels are too low to use any other deck, really. I don't know, 250 gems to get a lightning chest, 10,000 gold. Yeah, I might do it. I, I need that epic to... Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it regardless of what I get. As soon as I get the 250 gems, which should be by the end of the day. Let's just go Princess. Let's go Inferno. Let's poison. Bandit. Bats. Princess. Inferno. Valk. Prince. Oh, wow, this is going to be really tough. You know what? I'm going to bandit bats over here. I got to be careful when I use that Inferno. Oh, perfect. Bandit Bats and Poison. Uh, poison was too much. Poison was too much. Dang. I shouldn't have used the Poison. Shouldn't have used that poison, that's where I lost it. I got too aggressive. I expected that e I didn't expect him to, uh... Ah. Uh. Alright, so only six wins, but... I do have my second account that I can use. The levels aren't great there. But... I am gonna jump over to that, I will be right back. Okay. Open that. Check what's over here. I'll buy the bats. I will buy that. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, yeah, we suck. More people will be getting kicked, too. Uh, we do have openings if anybody wants to join the clan. Hmm. 
Hmm, I could open that epic chest today, too. Alright, do I want to go in with this deck? Probably. I hate this one. That one I was just screwing around with. That one's good. But I think I'm going to go with this deck. Oh, I went into... I went into regular battle again. Oops. Well, that's fine. Dark Goblin, you are so good. I hope you know that. I'm going to zap this wizard as he crosses. Now let's go Goblin Barrel and Bats here. Go Valk. Dark Goblin. It's fine. You can take one shot from it. Fireball to get some extra Dark Goblin shots in on the tower. Problem is, double elixir is really going to be a pain. So I got to force him onto this side. Oh, well, let's just bats. Nope, minor. Does that happen to you guys where you go to put a card down and it just doesn't register it? Because I find it extremely infuriating. He had freeze that whole time. Alright, let's get into this tournament. I'm going to be able to spam like crazy in Double Elixir. It's going to be nice. That was dumb. I knew that log was coming too. I lost. Uh, yeah, I, I screwed up so much there. I'm really off my game today. This is kind of a bad day for you to uh, 
first watch. I've had a really frustrating day, and it, I'm kind of, like, still high-strung from it, so... I do apologize for the lack of quality gameplay. Not to say that I'm usually really good or anything, but I'm usually better than this. There we go. <sighs> I do need the gold on this one. Um, what rare? Oh yeah, I want dark goblin. Nope, dark goblin. I will give up. Sure. Yeah, Valk is so underrated, I think. I think Valk is probably the best rare card in the game. Which is why it's the only one I have max. Wow. I don't have one level 11 card on this account, so I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do well, but I'm trying. You know what? Maybe if I just go super aggressive... He won't know what to do. Now let's fireball that. We'll go princess. Throw a dark goblin as well. Throw a miner. Bats. Bad zap, but that's fine. Let's go princess back here. Valk here. Minor over there. Because who plays minor there? Oh boy, this is going to be uh, a rough one. I think I lost. Crap. Nope, maybe not. At least not yet. Depending on what spells he's got. Gotta be smart here. Valk, Princess, Zap, Miner over here. That's Dark Goblin here. Princess. Ugh. I'm trying. <laughs> Man, if I just had one more level on that, that uh, Goblin Barrel in the Miner, I probably would have had enough damage. Hey, Motocross, what's going on?
Really? I thought that would lock onto the valve. What? Yeah, his, his zap just destroys my goblin barrel. There's nothing I can do. See, the thing is, when I use this deck on ladder, I usually end up getting the lead before double elixir, and that's how I win. So, I, I can't do anything. He's got a level 11 zap that, that just destroys me. And his cycle is just as fast as mine, just about. Hey Yasmin, what's up? <sighs> oh well. At least it's my second account, you know? Don't have log, don't have log. Nope, just three musketeers so I can fireball. They're only level nine, too. Miner, goblin barrel. Let's throw some bats here. That was easy. I probably should use an actual deck for this instead of this one, but whatever. Wow, that's a lot of minions coming in. Thank you for the rocket. Good game. I don't know why he ro used a rocket there. That was dumb. Common, common, common. What do I want for a common? I want bats or zap. I think I want zap. Um. Yeah, let's go zap, and I'll give up elite barbarians because I'm never going to be using those. At least I'm having fun with this deck. Keeps you on your toes.
Good thing that Inferno Tower doesn't hurt me too bad. Well, let's do some regular ladder for a few more games, and then uh, we'll see what's going on after that. Interesting miner. See how this deck defends much better in single elixir than double? Yeah, I'm going to take some damage here, but... Oh, wow, that's actually a lot of damage. Okay. That's fine, though. I'm not really worried about it. Sudden death is not easy. Let's go bats, valk, goblin barrel. go Dark Goblin and Valk over here. And then I'm going to go Princess over here. Eh, throw the bats first. I'm going to go Princess here. Miner for defense. Dark Goblin. Miner and bats. Crap, am I really not going to be able to cycle? See what I mean about having the under underleveled cards? Like, that fireball should have killed that tower, no problem. But that's what I like about playing on this account. It makes me a better player. I have to come up with new creative ways of winning, and I enjoy that. So even if I lose, I win, because I'm learning. Let's go Goblin Barrel on defense here, which is something I personally never do. Even though I did it earlier. And I'm going to go Princess over here. Now that he played something there, go Miner and Bats. And that's going to be a tower. Pretty close.
Even with that zap, he didn't do a whole lot of damage. So I'm thinking maybe on Saturday we'll do another uh, draft tournament if you guys want. Alright, I'm going to switch over to the main account again, do a little bit of pushing over there, and then I'll uh, wrap up the stream. So I'll be right back. Okay. Let's uh, make sure, yep, I got my main deck. If, you, if you're curious, by the way, this is the deck that I use normally. Um, and if you want to see my stats, my personal best, 47-42. Yeah, at level 10, it's really hard to get up to 4,000. I've done it a couple of times on the second account, but that was after like sitting there for like two or three hours of just constantly playing. Um it's rough. It really is. I was stuck between like 3,800 and 4,000 for a while. And then I just crossed 4,000. And was stuck there for a really long time too. But I eventually pushed past. Unfortunately, that was just a sacrificial Valk, but still got quite a bit of damage on that other side. See, JT, what I would do is uh, start if you're pushing and then you lose like two or three games in a row, just take like a 10 minute break and then go back to it. I find that it helps quite a bit. Because you don't have that anxiety of, oh, I need to win this game. Well, this isn't going to be annoying. Let's get the princess to make sure that, that gets taken out. Now I'll go bats. Well, that's not very nice.
Maybe if you weren't a jackass and actually paid attention to somebody for more than three seconds, you'd understand that, uh... Or you, I would have been able to explain to you that yesterday, I purposely lost a bunch of trophies playing with decks that you guys told me to play with. So, yeah. Also, I just got my Valk up to, uh, max, so... Yeah, who's the loser now, jackass? I, I hate people like you, I'm sorry. I really do. You, you, you're you just... There's no reason to act like that. Yep. I don't even care if it helps, I just did it because it was fun. You know, you guys made some crazy decks the last couple of days, and I really enjoyed playing them. I will be doing that more often, by the way, playing your decks. Um, the later in the season it gets, obviously, the less I'll do it, but... I definitely want to do that more often, because I do have a lot of fun doing it. Let's go bandit in the back for now. I love how he got real quiet all of a sudden or he left or whatever. Like You make a douchey comment and then just leave, like what's that say about you? Interesting that they didn't target that furnace. What do you mean that's a battle deck? A better deck? It's a better deck than what? Oh, from my second account? Yeah. No, on my second account, I don't really try. Like, I don't push trophies. I don't... I just use it to have fun. This... This is my main deck, though. I really wanted Adolf to respond to what I said to him. Kind of disappointed in him. Someone who's so cool that he can just call everybody he wants a loser. All of a sudden he disappears like a loser that he's calling everybody else. It's just, it's funny. And by the way, I think you're the first person to recognize that this is actually a good deck, because most people tell me that it's a crap deck. Everybody's like, oh, you have no win condition. <laughs> you don't always need a win condition to have a good deck, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, because a lot of people want to see, like, a hog or, you know, something that, that signifies a win condition. 
and while this deck doesn't really have one, it has two pseudo win conditions with the prince and the bandit. So, I mean, let's let's go to Stats Royale real quick, and I'll show you. Uh, Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Hog. I hate going against it, and I don't really like playing it. Please be an ad I can just skip. Oh, gotta wait. Anyways. Actually, what I normally do, I don't try to support a Prince push. I go Valk, Prince... And single elixir. If I can, I'll get a princess behind the Valk and then throw the prince. But when they go, what they'll do is they'll wait till it gets to the bridge to defend because they want to use their tower to help them defend and, you know, maximize their elixir. So they wait till I get to the bridge. Well, by that point, I've already built up more elixir and I can throw bandit bats opposite lane and either take a tower or at least take it down to like a thousand. Um, it works really, really well. So I'm going to go to ladder. And as you can see, this deck is just crushing it for me. One thirteen sixty five and one. It's a really, really good deck. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll I'll try to show you the the main push on this one. As long as it gives me princess to start. Yep. And then if the next one is Prince, I should be good. It's not, but I might still be able to pull it off. Since they just spent so much elixir. That's the main push, the bandit and the bats. Look how much damage that does. <laughs> and actually, that's perfect that it left the tower like that, because now I can attack the opposite lane. No problem. I'm not going to poison just yet. I will go Prince in the back. Fine. Now I'll poison. And I'll just go bats here. Oh, don't take the tower. Thank you for playing Dark Goblin. I don't think he realized. Ah, uh, Bandit was bad. I should have just taken the Dark Goblin damage. Oh well. Actually, forced him to play archers. Stop attacking this side. I want to go against the other side. Or go after the other side. Let's go prince and bats and see what happens. Poison that. Princess Valk. Throw bats wherever. Are you asking what I prefer, Zap or Arrows? Because for me, it's Zap all the way. Until you get up to like 
you know, where everybody's max, like the 5,000 range. Um, I would take Zap because if they're one level below with Goblins, you kill them. If they're two levels below with Minion Horde, you kill them. So if you have a level 13 Zap in the 4,000 range like I did, um, just having that Zap alone actually got me up to 4,300. And actually, I think I got, yeah, I got, I got up to 4,300 before I maxed my Valk. Um, and most minion hordes that I went against were like level 11, level 10 until I got to like 42, 4,300 and I could kill them with one shot and that's a three elixir swing for me. Um, the other thing with zap is you can use it to retarget things, which comes in handy quite often, especially if, um, if they get something to the tower and you can't. You can't defend it before it hits the tower. You can always zap it onto something else. So. Interesting. I don't think he has enough to stop this push. Okay, so it's Lava Hound Miner, not Lava Loon. That's even better for me. So that's a tower. I'm not going to play anything. There's no reason for me to play anything. Uh, see, my Zap was my first max card. Oh, no, actually, no, it wasn't. Bats were my first max card. Then Zap. I'm in trouble here. A little bit of trouble. It's interesting that your deck strugg struggles against Barbarian Barrel. I mean, uh, Goblin Barrel. That's not something I hear from most people. Not anymore, anyway. Yeah, bats are really, really good. try to take his tower on this first push. Oh, that, that changes things. Never mind.
And the good thing about this deck is I have the... If I need the bats more, I can bait out a zap with my Inferno Dragon. And if I need the Inferno Dragon more, I can bait out the zap with the bats. So either way, I'm set. Let's go Valk in the back. Go Princess and Inferno. Very unnecessary fireball. Let's go Prince in the back. I think Inferno Dragon might be the best offensive troop in the game, but that's just me. Because on your side of the bridge, it's usually really good. It's just when it gets to the other side, when they have the Electro Wizard and the Electro Dragon and all that. But... Man, this is rough. Let's go Bandit and Bats over here. I'll zap this. Inferno for the baby. Let's throw another Prince here. And then throw a Bandit over here. Give him some bats to support her. This could end up being my second draw. Nope, that's game. Um, yeah, sort of clean. $44.99. Let's see, it's been an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, oh, I gotta plug my phone in, which means it might freeze and it might crash the app, like what happened last time. Um, if this ends the stream, I apologize. I'm not gonna start another one up if this crashes, but I am gonna try to keep going for a while. Oh, Cream, you missed it. We had a guy come in the chat. His name was Adolf Adolf, and he goes, ha ha, you loser. You have a max Valk and you're under 4,300. So I start pushing and now I'm at 4,500. Ram X N. Can I call you ra like ramen or something? Is that what it's supposed to be? I'm not sure what to call you. Oh, Ramon. Okay. Uh, yeah, that that's a thing me and Cream do a lot. We'll make fun of like the idiots that come into the chat. Or the weirdos, because we get a lot of weirdos. That was a bad zap.
Sometimes it's nice to take a break when you're laddering. I don't even know how many games in a row I've won. I haven't really been paying attention. Interesting. Well played. This might be my first loss in a while. Cream, you think you'll ever go back to doing ladder? I don't know how you can enjoy the game and not do ladder. Alright, I got this ready this time. I can't get through. This is definitely a loss. King of the Hill. Um, it is, I guess, in the coding, but they haven't confirmed it. Yeah, I don't know why they made Freeze do damage. I don't understand it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five wins in a row. That's it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. I thought it was more than that. What are the levels on the deck, though? Because that might be bringing you down a little bit. If the levels are pretty low, you might struggle. It's not as level dependent as most decks are, but... Mav, I've been asking for that for a long time. A spell that damages the entire lane, like a, a airstrike or like a napalm strike or something. But I wanted to attack air too. Like I wanted to come out of the sky and whatever it hits, it kills. Or not kills, but does damage. I mean, it could just be the same damage as like a fireball or, you know, a similar fireball or whatever. Um, I think that would be really cool though. Why would you scar me that? Don't really want to overcommit to anything, but... Let's go Prince. Let's go Bandit on this side. And Poison. Poison. 
think I'm good. Oh, I played the bats right into that. Wow. Well played. Huh, he's got me, I think. There is no winning this for me, I don't think. Nice. I got it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow, I didn't think I was going to do that. A log spawner. <laughs> I've also said that I want a spell that allows you to retarget your own troop. I think that would be something that would be really cool. You know, kind of like Zap retargets their troop. I want something that can retarget your troop. Um, it could just be like a one elixir spell. It could even be a zero. <sighs> Push for gold. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm what, four games away from that? Yeah, you know how much I like draft. I actually wish they would make draft um, like a permanent thing, but... And no, not like a mind control spell. Just something like... It, it just retargets to like the nearest enemy or whatever. I just screwed that up, but that's fine. Oh wait, maybe I didn't. I thought I missed the zap. Ouch. Wait, what? How did that Night Witch not go after my Valk? If there was going to be a mind control spell like that, it would have to cost, like, I don't know, like two elixir more than the troop itself costs. So, kind of like how mirror costs one extra, that would cost two extra. Go Prince, Inferno, 
Zap. Princess. Go Bats. Bandit in the pocket. Go Poison. Um... I don't know about a mystery card idea. That that could just be... I, I don't like luck being involved in winning. To be honest with you. Okay, so he only had two max cards. Yeah, I do need the gold. And you can continue, so that's nice. But watch, it's going to be like 100 gems to continue or something like that instead of 10. Nice. Prince is so good. Now let's go princess. I don't really buy legendaries in the shop anymore. Once you have them all unlocked, I don't really feel like it's worth it unless, like... There's one that you've been trying to level up. Just let that prince go. I got more than my elixir's worth out of that, so I'm not going to complain. Go Valk here. Add a princess. Now go bandit with bats. And he can't defend it. He's got no answer. He could take this tower on me right now, which he won't. Uh, he might actually with that hog. Real HP, come on. Let's go Prince. Let's go with another Inferno Dragon. Ignore the Hog. I'm just going for the three crown at this point. Let's get a Bandit in. And good game. I made the deck myself based off of my highest level cards. Um, at the time, I only had uh, Zap and Bats max, and then I had Valk at level 12. Everything else was level 11 or 10, and I've leveled it up since. Um, actually, I think they were all level... Yeah, they were all level... Except for the... Yeah, all level 11 or 10. I'm just going to leave it at that. It was comp I'm making it more complicated. Um, but yeah, I did make it up myself. Um, I had a lot, like, some other level 11 cards I could have used, obviously. You know, some of these. I don't think I've leveled up any of these since then. Except for maybe Magic Archer. No, Magic Archer was already 11. Yeah. 
Um, but I just I slapped it together on a stream one day and it worked and it's been my main deck ever since. There's really no single deck that I struggle mightily against. Um, I have a hard time with Giant, but I struggle against Giant no matter what deck I use for some reason. I have like this mental block about Giant decks. No, I don't remember that deck, actually. Oh, looks like another golem. Wow. I'm going to be a jerk and give him a well played. <laughs> as long as he doesn't have... Oh, he has lightning instead. Okay. I was say, as long as he doesn't have E-Wiz, I'm good, and lightning doesn't really hurt me. Not too bad, anyway. Princess here. Knew that would force the golem out. And because it's so programmed in his head to just play that Night Witch right after the golem, made it easy for me to attack the opposite lane. So let's do this, this, and this. Now I'm going to band it here. Throw the bats. Throw poison. Princess. One more shot. Just gonna throw a bandit down here. I'm gonna zap that. I'm gonna poison. I gotta go for the three crown as soon as he drops that night witch. Which he didn't do. Threw the bomber instead. There we go. I lost. Wow. Good game. Because I didn't play that deck for very long, I don't think. I'm pretty sure that switch switched to a... Uh, what was it? Mega Knight Double Prince that I used? Welcome back. Why all the golems? Oh, wait, what? So it's not a golem deck.
If this is a golem deck, this is a really weird golem deck, and if it's not, this deck is even weirder. I gotta say, though, it's, I mean, it's hard to go against. I'm gonna go Princess. This is such a strange deck, I don't know how to play it. Balloon. Balloon mirror. Okay. Poison here. Really strange deck. I'll be honest, I thought that tower on the right was actually already down for me. <laughs> I, I didn't know what he was fireballing, and I was like, what? But I got him. I think. Maybe not. Well played. Um, sometimes I do get in the habit of putting the, the bats behind the bandit too much, but if the bandit does get through with the bats, it's basically a guaranteed tower, and if it doesn't take the tower, it brings it down to where I can just poison cycle. And also, um, normally what I try to do is play the bats just a little bit back. So that if they want to zap something, they can't zap the bandit along with the bats. And sometimes they'll miss a couple of bats with a zap or whatever. Hey, Fried Piper. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to wrap the stream up here. Um... I'm starting to lose a little bit, and I'm just going to... I know I can still do those split lane pushes with the miner, but the bandit... I mean, you've seen how clutch the bandit's been for me. I mean, bandit can clean up a wizard. It can clean up a, a musketeer. Um... Executioner, it, it does a lot of work for me. It's not just an attacking troop, whereas with a miner, I don't feel like it works as well on defense as the bandit does. Um, you know what? Let's see. 1037, 780. Yeah, I mean, miner has a little more health. 146, 133. Yeah, Bandit does so much more damage, though. So. It's a good tank, but it doesn't really take things out much on its own. Whereas, Ban I mean, Bandit can take out an E-Wiz. It can take out... Let's just go through and see what Bandit takes out. Princess? 
Um, it can stop a prince and a dark prince charge. Keep that in mind. If you play it right with the dash, it'll get the dash damage on them. It'll use up their charge, but the charge won't actually connect. So Bandit is great against both princes. Um, Night Witch it, it takes out. E-Wiz it takes out. Um, Ice Wiz it takes out. Lumberjack it can take out with the tower. Um, same thing with like a wizard. It needs the tower to completely take it out usually. But um, same with Executioner. Um, obviously Dark Goblin. Um, it can actually do pretty well against a Battle Ram as well. Uh, let's see. I said Musketeer. It takes out Archers on its own. It takes out a Bomber. It takes out one or two Barbarians, not all of them. But, I mean, Bandit just, it, it's so versatile. Whereas the Miner, it's like, you either throw it on a tower or you sacrifice it. That That's all it does. And Bandit can dash from one, like, if there's, like, three troops coming in that are, you know, say, like, I threw a poison or um, I had, like, a Valk that was doing damage on them and then it died, I just throw the Bandit, dash, 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 onto the tower. But, anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap the stream up here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I do have on my Facebook and my Twitter, link in the, or not links in the description, but they're in the description there. You can find them. Um, on those, I did post my schedule for streaming that's going to start next week. There are going to be some things mixed in, like additional bonus streams and um, maybe some Red Dead Redemption. So... Uh, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good night, and I will see you guys on the next stream.